All right, everybody. So today we're actually going to be using Josh Emmett. Now, Josh Emmett is one of those fighters in the game that nobody uses, and it's for actual good reason that you're actually going to see in this video. And I'm going to kind of explain. I'm going to kind of explain as best I can right here. But once we get into a game, you're going to understand why nobody uses him specifically. All right, so let's jump straight into his perks. He only has three which is, you know, kind of helps the fact that no one uses him. I mean, bro, even Dan Hooker has more perks than him, bro. Like, I I'm just, you know, just just saying, you know, I'm not nitpicking, just saying. He has Wrestling Clinic, Workhorse, Bulldog, and that's it. He doesn't have no more perks. And going into the stand-up, 94 punch speed and 98 punch power, which is amazing going against a lot of the better strikers in his weight class. But you're going to see why sometimes that 98 power is really not a crazy factor in some cases um does not have the best accuracy which also plays a big part footwork is pretty good head moving pretty good blockings man um he cannot switch stances so if he works or, if somebody works our legs and it's definitely ggs um kick power and kick speed really not the best uh takedown defense really should be way higher josh emmett is, has a really good takedown defense irl coming into his grappling his grappling is actually pretty good um if y'all ever seen josh emmett fight he actually has pretty good wrestling really nice balance clean looking wrestling and then coming into his health stats, um, he has a 30, 93 cardio, 94 chin, and everything else is pretty mid, pretty mid tier. And then coming into his top moves, he has a really good overhand, good rear hook, um, a good lead body hook, a good lead hook up to the head, and a good wrestling double leg because it's Josh Emmett. This is what I mean by no one uses him for a reason. So Josh Emmett actually has a level two jab and a level three right hand. So his one two does really virtually no damage. So the only way you can really get damage if you if you if you throw hooks, and the only way to throw hooks is if you what move forward and get in the opponent's grill. When you're going against the Max Holloways with crazy good footwork and a good switch stance, the Giga Chikazes, the Yaya Rodriguez is the Calvin Canners, the Conor McGregor's, the Arnold Allens, even Arnold Allen can back up and you know do better do better than him and the i was in the vocal and obviously that has really really good uh kickboxing good forward good reach good jab bro it is difficult but enough complaining about his stats let's just go ahead and use them in the game sorry if i'm stuttering a lot i know i stuttered a lot in the intro but you know i just got off of work y'all know bro all, all, my, all my all my of age people out there my older people out there y'all know me i get off of work man y'all ready to do nothing I know I'm young, but you feel what I'm saying? I ain't invincible now. So did he pick Connor? I didn't even notice. Oh, about to say, I got <laughs> bro. I thought he picked Connor for a second. I I almost got mad. Yeah, you good? Okay, there we go. Okay, so the thing with Josh Emmett, the good thing is that Josh Emmett actually has a really good lead leg kick. Okay, so we got the wrestling started early. I didn't mean to do that, but I mean, we're going to take it. Josh Emmett actually has a really good top game. Like, Josh Emmett can hold you here for literally the whole fight if he wanted to. So, okay, I guess he's just waiting. Yeah, he's just kind of waiting. Okay, that was kind of on us. Okay, so he ducked his head. And him trying to trade with us is not going to be a good idea, no matter how good his hooks is. Because we are, we were always, we will always have better hooks. Okay, he waited for that little knee to the face, but I don't think Josh Emmett actually has that. Yo, yo, you better relax. Look at that, look at that footwork. He can just back up and just be right out of our range, bro. That's so annoying. This is what I'm talking about with Josh Emmett, man. You're so slow, and it's really, it's really. Okay, catches that two piece to the mouth. One, two. So if you're gonna throw a longer strike, it's just definitely gonna be his right hand because it's level three. His jab is really not that good. Um, he has a really good lead hook too. Like I said, man, any like circular punch or a close range punch is definitely gonna be very beneficial with Josh in it. And like I said, him trading with us is not a good idea. So he should really find a new game plan now. Cause y'all know I time people with ease in this game. Y'all know it's not it's not hard for me to time people. Find out your timing. So Okay, so he's trying to wrestle, which is definitely not gonna work. I definitely tried to throw an uppercut, but 
You know, it's UFC 4. What do you expect? Did he just emote? I'll do that now. Because I can put you to bed. Okay, it's lagging. Which is which is amazing. Bro, he's, he's still moving forward. Okay, so he's doing a lot of head movement. Y'all know what we do to people who do head movement. And I always tell people this. If people are doing a lot of head movement, throw hooks. Throw, start, th throw hooks, man. Throw hooks. I was about to say throw circular strikes, but you can definitely slip a, a lead hook. I mean, a lead uppercut. Man, throw throw those hooks, man. I, I think he's just going to wait for his moment for us to take our hand off of the deny. Off of the right stick. To try to transition. Yeah, that, look at that. So when I start punching, he's going to transition. You see that? He's taking any chance that we take our hand off the right stick to move. Look at that. Okay, so he faked that. So most likely he's going to fake. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Okay, let's keep punching. Keep punching. He goes right. Heck no. Okay, so he's actually going this time. Uh, I think he actually got this. Yeah, he did. Let's try to take him down again. Uh, he's denied it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, so he's trying to slip our straight strikes now. So we're definitely going to come in with that lead hook. There we go. We rock him here. We have a really good lead hook to the body. So we're definitely going to use that. Yeah, he's not blocking his body at all. So it's going to be good night for him if he doesn't block his body. And I know y'all like these matches, man. The matches where I go against players that's actually, you know, has a brain. It's good. It's good to. It's nice to get knockouts, but it's nice to have a challenge also. Yeah, it doesn't take much for Josh Emmett to put you away, honestly. Ooh. Okay, you better relax. I know you. Oh, please. Oh, please. You don't even have the stamina for this, dude. Like, this dude is really trying to get some type of clip. Because there ain't no way. Like, come on, bro. You're not going to bully me. You ain't bullying me. You ain't bullying me. You ain't bullying me. You're not bullying me. You're not bullying me. It's time to put you away. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm putting him out. I'm putting him out in the first in the in the start of the first round. I'm putting him to sleep. I'm putting him to sleep. And I think we actually did we tenated him that round, even though he did get some good rocks on us. Um the thing with the thing with um Arnold Allen, he doesn't really have the best health, so. Yeah. Wow. Look how slow that stiff arm was, dude. That slip that stiff arm should not be that slow. And that was just a guessing game at this point. Because now he's going now he's doing this and he's pull countering. So it's just gonna be a, a full on guessing game. And so what you do when you're in these situations where it is a guessing game. You throw singular strikes. You throw singular strikes. You see what I mean? Throw singular strikes. And we put him out. I mean, I did say I was going to put him out in the first, in the start of the first round. And it, I definitely put him out in the start of the first round. And like I said, when they want to do all this, all the pull countering and, and you feel what I'm saying? And all the slip crosses, throw singular strikes and you'll catch them. Because it's hard to, to slip the first strike because you don't know what they're going to throw. You see what I'm saying? 
Let's get into the next one. Um, Alexander Volkanovsky is broken. He's broken. Um, he doesn't have the craziest chin. So what we can do is pick our shots, um, tag him, really work on his head health. There's no really point of working his body, especially with Josh Emery. We're, we're too slow for that. Um, that doesn't mean we're not going to, but we're going to have to kind of tip-tat his body if we're going to work his body using Josh Emmett. Because Volk is just so much quicker than us. So in order for us to impose our will, we're going to have to be first. We're going to have to act like we're the faster striker, if that makes sense. So we're going to move forward, keep the jab in his face. There we go. It's already working. Oh my goodness. And it's lagging. Alright. Making sure the recording looks good. Yeah, we're definitely going to get another one in. Because this guy. Okay. You're going to catch these uppercuts. Um, Let's get into the next one, man. Let's just go ahead and just get right back to, into the next one, man. Alright, so coming into our last match here. He's going to use Brian Ortega. He took kind of, He took kind of a minute. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean it. Yelling in your ears. He kind of took a minute to um select his character. So that kind of tells me that he really doesn't know much about Brian Ortega. But that's fine. He switches stances instantly. Um, Definitely didn't mean to do this. We do not want to be on the bottom position against Brian Ortega. So... This is where Brian Ortega kind of, you know, loses his skill in, is in the striking department. Even though Brian Ortega actually has good animations, he doesn't hit hard at all. So, yeah, like I said, man, the only way we're going to get damage is with these hooks, man. Honestly. As y'all can see, man, these hooks are doing damage. Oh, Okay. Okay, he shoots a takedown. He probably didn't mean to do this, so he's probably going to go up. Okay, he didn't do anything. That was kind of obvious he wanted to do a front kick because he kind of backed up. He backed up and stood still. Look at that. Kind of obvious, but... And it's over. Man, bro, Josh Emmett's power will put you to bed early, boy. Actually, I'm going to get one more, dude. Why not? Why not? It's Josh Emmy. Why not? Oh, man. Last match. Max Holloway. Let's get it, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Um, Against Max Holloway, we have really good power against him. We could wrestle him, honestly, too. Um, But depending how good he is, man, we're going to have to. We're probably going to wrestle. But like I said, man, it's just depending how good he is with Max Holloway. Okay, so looks like he's another, another one of those players that like gets state damage off and backs up. So I'm going to move forward, even, you know, even though it's going to move forward simply because Max Holloway is definitely the faster fighter. And if Max Holloway learned, you know, gets good at that kickboxing, if he, you know, warms up with that kickboxing, Max Holloway can be very dangerous. You know, people be forgetting Max Holloway has good kicks in his game, too. He has a switch kick, a good high kick, a good body kick. Not necessarily a good leg kick. Imagine if Max Holloway had a leg kick, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, right now, we're just kind of moving forward. I'm kind of trying to time him. I'm kind of trying to time him. There we go. We knock him down. Okay. Give me that body. Okay, so that must be his, like, go-to combo, honestly. What the freak? That's definitely like his go-to combo. But yeah, no, oh, another thing with Josh Emmett I forgot to tell y'all about is that since Josh Emmett doesn't have the best block, you definitely want to use his head movement. His head movement is actually not that bad. Pretty good, honestly. 
Yeah, I definitely want to use Josh Emmett's uh, head movement. And and while we're fighting, would I recommend y'all try out Josh Emmett? You know, if you're bored one day, why not? You know, I always kind of say this, like, every fighter I, I, you know, I, I recommend, I always put, like, why not in there? Because at the end of the day, it's not really about getting wins. I mean, obviously you want to win, but it's about having fun, you know? It's not really about always, you know... Oh, who can I use to get the most wins? <laughs> it's like, come on, man. Have some fun. Goodness gracious. And the funny part is, a lot of pro players don't have fun, bro. A lot of them don't have fun. And that's 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 what that's what causes burnout. That's what causes that you stop playing the game. And it's lagging. Yes, I see the lag, too. So, bro, it's like I'm, old, I'm lagging in every video. Have y'all noticed that, bro? It's like every video I lag. It's almost... And then, like, when I'm not recording, I never lag. It's so weird. Overhand, boom. Okay. All right, let's see if he'll get hit by this high kick. He didn't. Let's see if he get hit by it again. He didn't. Let's see if he get hit by it again. He didn't. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I promise I'm done. Yeah, bro. Max Holloway just has such a good chin. It's really hard to put him out. No respect? What did I even do? What did I even do? We got four knockdowns? I didn't even notice, honestly. This dude is just backing up and just throwing one two, so it's not it's kinda hard to put him out. Okay. Funny part is I was actually gonna think about I was actually thinking about going to the body. Oh my goodness, my, of course. Bro, this dude. Oh my goodness, if my wingspan was a teensy bit. Oh my goodness, y'all. This dude is just backing up. He's backing up to the heavens. Look at this. Look at this. He's not going to move forward. Look at that. What are you scared of? I have no kicks. I have... My punches are slow. What are you scared of? Good night. Take that right overhand. All right, I'm going to end this video here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, I'm going to say thanks to this dude, and yeah. Love y'all. See you on the next one.